Hello everyone, my name is Zeke and welcome to today's workout. Make sure you warm up before today's routine, bring some water, bring a lot of energy, and make sure you subscribe below for more videos like this one. Let's get it. Too easy. Let's go. All right, we're gonna be using the heavy set of the kettlebell for the first set of workout that we're gonna be doing. The first workout we're going to be doing is going to be alternating gorilla row. I'm gonna be showing you guys my side view so that way you can get the technique and the form right. What you wanna do is wanna make sure you put both kettlebell in between your legs. You are standing in a wide stance. So you're going to hinge at the hips, make sure the back is flat. You're gonna hold the kettlebell in a neutral grip. Bring kettlebell to towards your chest, bring it down. All right, we're going to be doing a similar movement for the next workout. This time we're going to be using, uh, we're gonna be in a bare stance. So we want to be in a slight row position, which means we have space between the legs. One leg is back, one leg is forward. I'm gonna be holding the kettlebell um, in, in the middle. And then from here, I'm gonna open up my body, hold the kettlebell in the neutral grip, roll towards my body, bring it back down. All right, we're gonna take out a 10 second break. During the break, we're gonna rotate our body. We're going to be doing the same thing we're doing on the left side. On the right side, we're gonna be doing it. On the left side, we're gonna be doing it on the right side this time. So, just a little refresher. One leg forward, one leg back. Hands in between the kettlebell. Holding the kettlebell on the right side, in neutral grip. Roll towards the body, let it go. Let's get it. All right, good work. For the next movement, we're going to be using a single kettlebell. Wanna get the mat, if you have one. You want to kneel down on the mat. Then we're gonna bring the kettlebell, hold the kettlebell by the horns, bring it from your chest, both the head, bring it back down. This is a nice and controlled workout. You don't want to rush the movement so you can really target the shoulders and make sure you're engaging the right muscle group. Let's get it. All right, good work. I'm gonna take a slight break. We're going to be doing both kettlebell press for the next movement. We're gonna be using both kettlebell for this movement. I'm gonna start from here, bring the kettlebell to the front rack. I'm gonna press up. I'm gonna control it nice and control it back to the standing position. Place it go all the way up above ahead during the movement. So let's take a little break. We're about to get started.
All right, good work. We're taking a slight break. I'm gonna put a heavy kettlebell to the side. We're going to go into the lighter kettlebells. We're going to be doing bend over, rear delt flies. We're gonna bend slightly, chest is up. From here, we're gonna bring the kettlebell outside. Nice and easy. Make sure we're engaging the upper back and the shoulder area, right? That's the next movement. Let's go. All right, good work. We're going to be doing a single kettlebell close grip row. And the goal of this workout is to get our mid back, keep that back engagement going. All right, we're going to bring the kettlebell in between our legs. And then from here, we're gonna hold the kettlebell by the horns. Chest is up, bring the kettlebell towards the stomach. Let it go, store the stomach, let it go. That's what we're doing. Let's go. All right, amazing work. We're going to be doing some bicep action for the next movement. I'm going to show you guys my stance for doing biceps. I'm going to bend my knee slightly. You don't have to, but I like doing this so that way I'm not swinging back and forth. I'm going to ground myself, bend slightly, hold the kettlebell by the hands, start from here, palm is out, hand is extended, go all the way up, and extend fully to make sure I'm engaging all part of my bicep muscle group. Let's get it. Good work, amazing effort. I'm gonna grab the mat, I'm gonna do some chest workout. The next workout we're going to be doing, we're gonna lay on our back. We're going to be using the heavy set of kettlebells. That one here. I'm gonna lay on my back, bring the kettlebell to my chest. And then from here, I wanna make sure I am having my palm facing outside. Bring the kettlebell up, all the way back to the ground. And that's what we're doing. work we're going to be doing a similar workout for the next workout but it's going to be slightly modified we're going to bring one kettlebell into the chest area we're going to hold it by the helm by the kettlebell horns go all the way up press back up then we're going to go into skull crushers then back into the starting position press to the chest again back up above the head extension that's what we're doing Let's go.
All right, eight movement. Next workout we're going to be doing is going to be going to go swings, single arm swings. Hello, swing is one of my favorite workouts. The technique for this is pretty simple. We're gonna make sure we have space between the legs. Hold the kettlebell in a neutral grip position. From here, bring it up. Make sure we're not going too hard, too high. We're engaging the shoulders and making sure we're targeting the right muscle group. Good work. Amazing effort. You're doing fabulous. We're going to be doing the same thing we did on the left side, on the right side. Again, make sure you are holding the kettlebell. Make your grip. Bend. Let's pull it up. Come back down. Make sure you're following the kettlebell. You're not trying to control it. Go with the flow of the kettlebell momentum. And make sure you're not going too high. Around the eye level is where you want to stop for the shoulders. Let's go. Good work, amazing effort. We're going to be doing standing reverse fly for chest. We're gonna bring the lighter kettlebells. We're gonna do single hand first. So you can bend slightly if you wish to. And from here, bring the kettlebell up, back swing, up. Make sure you're engaging that chest and the bottom part of your chest. That's the goal for this workout. You can get some water real quick. Let's go. All right, amazing effort. We're going to be doing the same thing we did on the left side. We're going to do that on the right side. Form again, knee slightly bent. Cut the ball with a neutral grip. Bring it up, palm facing outside, bottom of the chest engage. Come back down, let the cut the ball swing. Don't try to control it. Go back to the movement again. All right, so make sure you do with a lighter weight. So that way you're not hurting your shoulders or you're not um, doing the technique wrong. Let's go. Amazing work, good job. All right, we're going to be doing a single arm bicep curl to, up. Uh, we're going to be doing palm facing up, bicep curl, we come down, we're gonna turn it around, we're gonna do hammer curl with the kettlebell. So we're gonna do a single curl, go down, switch to turn it around, to hammer curl. That's what we're gonna be doing. Single arm on each side. Let's get it.
amazing work. We're going to be doing the same thing we did on the left side and the right side. We're going to do a curl, kettlebell curl, to hammer curl. We're going to be alternating between those two movements to get nice tension on our biceps. So for now, get some water, take a little break. We're going to be leaving in about 15 seconds. Amazing work. We're going to be doing some tricep extensions uh, for the next movement. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a split stance, uh, one leg forward, one leg backward, bend over. You can put this right hand on your right on your right knee if you want to. Bring the hand closer to you. Hold the kettlebell by the horns. Extend out. Bring it back in. That's it. Let's get it. work you're doing fabulous we're almost there keep working we're going to be doing the same thing we did on the left side on our right side one leg forward left leg forward right leg backward left arm on your left knee arm close to the body that's the now get some water catch your breath we're living in 15 seconds Amazing work, You're doing fabulous. Thank you, thank you for joining me. We're going to be doing some push-ups in the next workout. We're going to be doing that with some kettlebell. It's going to be slightly harder than regular push-ups. You can put your hand in the body of the kettlebell if you want to, but I'm going to give myself a little more challenge. I'm going to hold it by the handle. This is going to be more intense. I'm going to lower my body to as far as I can, get a nice stretch on my chest and come back up. Amazing work. We're gonna get some ab action with the kettlebell for our next movement. We're gonna lay on our back. If you have the mat, grab a mat real quick. And we're gonna get the kettlebell, one of the heavy ones. We're gonna bring it up. Then we're gonna bring our knees up, extend, bring the knees up again. Nice crunch. Let's go. Oh. 
All right. Amazing work. You're doing fabulous. And that is time. Good work. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you come back more for more workout like this one. Please download my playbook.io and find physique fitness on the search box. And you're going to see a lot of program there for free. Um, it's for seven days is for free. So you can always try this. It works free. Thank you so much for joining me until next time. Let's get it too easy. Let's go.